Hello and good evening guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl, and tonight is the night. This is the event of the Orlando Informer. It's been a while since I've been to this event. Um, I remember my first time here. They only had it for one night. This time they have it for two, which is pretty cool. And now they're going to have it for where it's adults only, but um, that's going to be for another time. Um, but let me give you a brief explanation to what the Orlando Informer all about. The Orlando Informer is a private event where guests can attend both parks with low crowds, minimal weights, and all-you-can-eat food and special entertainment. And now they are bringing an adults-only Informer event on November 16th and December 7th. But remember, tickets are limited. If you can't purchase the ticket in full, they give you the option to pay it off via an Affirm account. As the sun is setting, I have to go get my items so that way they can identify that I am here for the event. And by eight o'clock, public will be gone and it'll be time to ride the rides. Now, it's been a minute since I've been to Universal because as you can see, the last time I was here, the sign wasn't here, but uh, the sign could be better. What? It is what it is. I like the old one, but look at that. That is people everywhere that are that have to leave while we are coming in for tonight's event. I'm excited, folks. It has been a minute since I've been to Universal. And I mean, I know nothing new has popped up since the last time I've been here. Um, but it's been a while since I've done the Orlando Informer. So I want to see if there's anything new that has popped up. So that way, those who want to do this will be able to know what to do, where to go, and um, whether you want to do one night or two nights. See, so I love how, once again, we're kind of like in between the parks. We have Rip Rocket right next to me. We have um, the Hollywood, um, the Hard Rock Cafe next uh, to my left. And this is the new entrance over to Orlando Informer. They did the same thing like that with Halloween Horror Nights. So I guess this is gonna be the same entrance for all events. So over here, this is what I was talking about. So for the two night events for the regular Orlando Informers for family members, this is the winter setup. And then over here, for those for the adults only, this is the new Orlando mini meetup where it's just for adults, not for families. So it's November 16th, December 7th. For those who are interested in signing up and attending, for those who want to invite their families, this is for the winter event. You have November 17th to the 18th, December 1st to the 2nd, and December 8th to the 9th. Okay, a lot, a lot has changed since the last time I've been here, and it is for the better. So now, instead of the red flashing armbands that they used to have, they have these with a QR code. And with that QR code, not only can we talk and text to the Orlando Informer in case we have any new information, but there is a digital map on there. Um, there's just all kinds of things. But I brought a brochure just in case. Um, they give you a ticket, they give you a gift card with money, like I think $15, so I think a total of 30, I'll have to double check and see. But um, you are able to go to City Walk, you are able to go to any other restaurants and get your free food, which starts at nine o'clock. And um, they also have a menu of what foods are available. They also have a time to what rides are available before they close. So like for Velocicoaster and Hagrid, they close a little early because, you know, it's gonna be a long line, let's face it. But uh, other than that, I like where it's going. I'm an annual pass holder and they told me to go over to New York because there is a special, like a zombie bar event. And every hour the zombies come out and attack. I'm a little curious, so I wanna see what that's like. So I'm gonna go over and check it out, get my information over there, and let's experience it. Well, so back here over by where Rip Rocket is, you will find where uh, that event at 9.30 for the zombies to come out and <laughs> say hi to you. Now, I chose to travel light this time. I have right here a fanny pack, so that way I get to actually enjoy myself without having anything on my shoulder and dragging it along. 
Um, we have 15 more minutes before it's um, this place is closed to the public. I figured, let me start small. Let me go into the back. I'm going to do um, E.T. I'm going to do um, The Simpsons. I'm going to do the small ones before I get to my all-time favorites. And then we'll mosey on over to um, Islands of Adventure and just stay there for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Wait, they got E.T. They're getting away. You're the three. construction that's going on over by the kids zone um, ET has changed a little bit and so you couldn't be able to put your name in like you could the last time I was here and I mean he just says goodbye friends but it's still a memorable ride um, for the most part black, men in black is down unfortunately so I'm gonna have to skip that because I'm gonna head over and go to my favorite rides in the meantime and um, right now the weather is kind of looking a little dreary. I'm getting some drops. I brought an umbrella, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna downpour and it's not gonna ruin this event. But for the most part, like all the times, the Orlando Informer event is still a memorable thing. It's great to be there and I highly recommend anyone to just come and be a part of this because this is a fantastic event. It's private. You could bring your family. And then, like I said, they're going to be able to bring um, a private event for adults only. So that's even going to be more spectacular and uh, probably less, less people because because of this event and it has evolved over the years, a lot of people have started coming here more than the last time I was here, which is good. You want that. But I kind of miss the fact where it was barely empty and you had pretty much a car to yourself. So let's go on to um, The Mummy. Then we're going to head over to Gringotts and then Rocket Roller Coaster. <sighs> see, this is the only time, people. The only time you ever get to see this place in its awe and glory without people in line. I'm telling you, it's a rare treat. Like I said, the only time you get to do this, people, is an event like this. Yes. Well, move along to the security office to have your Gringotts identification photo taken. Then, proceed to the large office at the end of the corridor, where an assistant will prepare you for your first visit to the vault. You get free drinks, so you can have all the butterbeer you want. There are um, different drinks that I've never tried. This one is like, I think, not gilly water, but um, I'll get the name of it. But it has like, um, it has like that, this berry boba in it, and it has like a mint uh, kind of taste to it. It's really good. And then I also got this pumpkin juice that they uh, came out with. And these are the drinks that I've always wanted to try, but you know, of course you have to pay for it, but hey, in, in the Orlando former, it's free. Actually, this is pretty good. And I like the berry taste after it when it bursts. It's not bad, let me try. Let me try the pumpkin, hold on. So that way I can say that I've tried everything. Okay, it's a pumpkin cider. That's what it is. It's not bad. Not one of my best choices, but definitely this one is a winner. Of course, they also have hot butter beer. They have cold butter beer. They have regular butter beer. So like I said, everything's free, baby. Seriously, guys, I have this ride to 
myself. <laughs> You know, this, this an event like this a lot, a lot of praise because um, once again, rides like these are always hard to get on, and that's the downside. But the plus side to these events is like once again, there's no wait. There really isn't, and you can get on these rides as many times as you want. And I think, you know, and that's why I recommend two days because you can spend one day at Universal and then the next day over at Islands of Adventure. So that way you can do them both instead of doing one day and then doing both parks at this in one day, if you can. I've done, I've done it many times, but you know, I think it's kind of nice to just be able to do, you know, one park per day. So again, this is well worth the money. Now that we are done with Universal, I'm gonna make my way over to Islands of Adventure and finish the rest of the night. All right, so this is the entrance over to Islands of Adventure. And I guess Orlando, the Orlando Informer has a mascot. It's a bird. How adorable. And there it is, folks. I wish I was there for its closing, but unfortunately, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't my time to see it for the last time. But yeah, Poseidon, I'll miss you. But I look forward to what new what new ride or story this is going to be over here. The only downside is that what, by the time I got here, I had two choices. And it was either ride Hagrid or Velocicoaster. For some, it's no competition, but yeah, I ended up uh, going on the Velocicoaster because, um, like I said earlier, they close those two rides earlier than they do the others. Because even though this event ends at 1.30, in order to make sure that they have everybody and they close in a timely manner, they had to um, stop all, they had to stop everybody from coming at around 11.30 or so. So though Hagrid had 55 minutes and Velocicoaster was 45, I took Velocicoaster. So I get to enjoy the rest of the rides. I still got Kong, I still got the Hulk, I still got Spider-Man. So we're just gonna go ahead and head over to uh, King Kong, ride that ride, and then head back to the Marvel um, Marvel Comics area. Another thing that sucks, unfortunately, is that I did not get a ticket to do the um, Pterodon Flyers, because believe me, the last time I did it for a kid's ride, it is intense. But, you know, once again, you, it was selected, it was a virtual queue, and I didn't get it. But hopefully next time, um, especially if they do it for the mini um, meetup, I would think that would be pretty cool. they're dealing with some refurbishment but yeah there they are yep he's, he's doing some maintenance and the whole thing is empty it's drained it's not every day you get to see these folks 
As I left Islands of Adventure, the thought occurred to me, what does Universal look like empty? Very few people of us here. I wanted to stick around just to see what would happen if, you know, just to see how empty Green Gods can get. So, um, it's pretty much, we have 15 more minutes left before it is officially closed, but I love the fact that you can come and see how empty this place looks. I mean, it is pretty amazing. So, with the park now officially closed, we're going to do a nice scroll throughout the rest of Universal, just so you can see the beauty of the emptiness of this place, because again, it's not very often you get to see this place empty and just admire it for what it is. So let's take a tour. That's it for me guys. This again was a blast. I have no regrets. This was well worth the money. I know it's not, there's no discount as a pass holder, which is fine. I don't care. Again, to be able to do stuff like this is definitely well worth the cost. And you know, like I said, if you could do both days, do both days. If you can do just the, the mini event where it's adults only, do that. But the fact is, just try it. You would like it. Actually, I've spoken to a few people who prefer this over to versus just going to the park on a daily basis. Because once again, rides are available and you're not waiting for hours just to get on your favorite ride. So until next time, guys, this is Naisha and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.